everybody, and we are here again for a new episode of the Figure Out English podcast for English learners. The transcript will be available as usual on figureoutenglish.com as well as the learning notes and practice exercises. And let's start! It's funny, but the longer we learn the language, the more difficult it is becoming to say a simple phrase. I'm sure you know the feeling. We get stuck in all that grammar we know, and then Imagine we go somewhere and we need to ask a simple question and we are lost. Communication really should be simple. So let's try to find an easy way to ask questions. We just use the same model again and again, especially in English. We don't need to make every new sentence from scratch. So, I was thinking about your survival kit. What kind of questions do we usually ask in everyday communication? Uh, one of the most used patterns and simple questions I found was, can I? So, if you need to do something, you will be asking people to let you do it or to show how to do it. And you will be asking that a lot. So, get it fixed in your brain. Can I? And I develop and develop it with the verb. Can I ask? Can I speak? And then add object to your verb. Can I ask a question? Can I speak to you? Can I sit here? Now you can go on forever. Can I look? Can I have a look? Can I use the bathroom? Can I pay with the card? We can play with these objects with here also. So, can I sit here? Can I smoke here? Can I charge my phone here? Can I send a letter here? Can I find your contact information here? You come with no ideas. How can you use it? Now, let's concentrate on this basic form. Can I find? Yes, can I find the bathroom? And then we can extend it, add a question word, where can I find, yes, so where can I find the bathroom, where can I find the city map, where can I find the socket. And here uh, we can even change the verb and play with it more and more. How can I find the city center, how can I get a bus ticket, how can I get a SIM card. How can I print it out? Simple, yes. You get a numerous number of simple yet practical questions from this base. Can I? Are there more examples coming to your head? Will all these questions use the same structure in your own language? So make a list of these questions for your practice. Now think, how would you say all of them in your own language? Try to form a pattern in your head and think how you will use it. I find this approach very productive for myself. Yes, grammar is important, but don't forget that grammar just explains the usage. So, if you find the models for your usage, you will be using them again and again and you will be alright. So, if you remember this base form, can I? You can make numerous variations of adding different question words at the beginning and changing the verb and the object after them. So, how can I ask questions in English? Easily. And I will continue with more set patterns in the next grammar episodes. Stay tuned. Thanks for listening. Please visit figureoutenglish.com for a free download of the transcript and learning notes. Don't forget to share and comment. Cheers!